What's going on, guys? Horror Junkies back with another video. Today is fucking Scream 6 teaser. Fuck yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, they've been saying they was going to drop a trailer pretty much at any time. Um, we, have, we haven't really covered much of this because there's plenty of people doing it. Um, we we decided we was gonna wait for a trailer, so that's what we're doing. Um, and we're not one of those channels that every single time a little bit of piece piece of information comes out, we're not gonna yeah, do a video. Yeah, on. we'll we'll do videos on <clears throat> trailers uh, and check them out and talk with them, talk about them with you guys. Um, but it looks interesting. It looks really interesting. Um, you know, they're in the six. It's kind of scary. <laughs> um they're in New York. Um also kind of scary uh because they are leaving Woodsboro and venturing to another place. The so, city of the millions. No, yeah. A bunch of Yeah. A bunch of what? <laughs> um so just read off the the cast real quick. Let's let's uh we have Jenna Ortega she played Tara in the last movie. Uh, we got Hayden Panettiere coming back to play Kirby. Yes. From Scream 4. Yes. Finally. Uh, we got Melissa Barrera. She plays Sam, Tara's sister in the last one. Samara Weaving, I believe she was in the newest Texas Chainsaw, I think. Uh, she plays Sasha, your favorite, Courtney Cox. No. Not at all. <laughs> Not at Courtney all. Courtney could suck some cocks. <laughs> she probably lives on Cox Avenue. Uh, she plays, of course, Gail Weathers. Oh, yeah, Gail. Leanna Liberato, who plays Carly. Uh, Mason Gooding, who plays Randy's, or played Randy's nephew in the last movie. He's back, and his sister as well. She's back. We got Josh Sigur Sig Sig <laughs> spit, spit, spit it out. Cigara, cigara. I don't fucking know. <laughs> he plays David. Uh, Skeet. Skeet, 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 Skeet Ulrich, who plays Billy Loomis. He's in the cast list, so I don't know if they're gonna do something with his older than he should be ghost again. Because <laughs> apparently, after you die, you age more. I didn't know that. Uh, we got Tony Ravioli, uh, Rebo <laughs> uh He plays Flash in uh, Tom Holland's Spider-Man movies. He's in it as Gabe. Uh, that's pretty much all the people I know. Okay. Um, we are rocking the Scream theme today. Um <clears throat> So let's go ahead and, and, and get into this trailer and what? <laughs> Move your chair. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go and get into this trailer right now. It looks actually I'm I'm it's getting me excited in the pants. I'm just you know 
Never had a teaser for a trailer that teased me <laughs> like that. You know, you just can't beat a good horror movie. You know what I mean? And I was really pleased with the last one. I'm sure there's a shit ton of people that didn't like it um, because it just didn't go the way they wanted it to. Of course, they're not making it, so who gives a shit? Um, so I actually really liked the last one. I thought it was brutal. He was killing motherfuckers during the day. You know what I mean? Um, this is, like I said, this is taking place in New York City um, during Halloween, which is really cool. Um, as you can see in the trailer, uh, there's, if you guys go watch this and, and, and pause it and frame by frame and, and, and check it out, you will catch a lot of Easter eggs in this, in this trailer. Um, at one point you see Jason, Pinhead, uh, Freddy, somewhere back in the back, it almost looks like Beetlejuice. I think the Baba Duke was in there. Yeah. Uh, it kind of looked like him. Ironically, I didn't see anybody dressed as Michael. No, no. Um, but and I but think we can all agree. We're just getting some of this, though, so right. you may see that. I um, think we can all agree that easily the most important character in this movie is going to be that guy in the hot dog suit. If he <laughs> dies, I'm going to be pissed. Well, Michael, you're probably not going to see Michael in this movie because he's probably still pissed off about his movie. But so he's not going to make an appearance. <laughs> But there's one shot in this trailer that I really, really like. Um, and where's that? It's in New York. <laughs> <laughs> if you're asking me specifically where it's at in the no, teaser, I don't know. The, the, the shot that we're talking about. It's right here. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> This has got to be one of the coolest shots of this trailer. Um, he looks creepy. He do, he looks pissed off. Um, I do, think from this teaser, this is probably probably the most uh, intense and intimidating ghost face. Yeah, so far it looks like he's gonna like he like the sh the mask shows no emotion, but he's standing there like I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh yeah, you can you can tell by the way he's just standing there. You know, like shit's about to go down. Shit's about to, when these yeah. lights turn out. <laughs> I'm about to sneak it's, up it's on going one down. Of you bitches. <laughs> it's going to happen. It's like little do you know, I have night vision in this mask. <laughs> um. In one part, you actually do get to see about three ghost faced in the same shot. Um, there's two very clear ones, and then there's one off to the side that's blurry, but you can tell that it's another ghost face costume. Um, don't know if there's three ghost face actually killing in this movie or one or two. It you know it's just hard to tell. Um, the only thing I can think of is one thing that would have made this teaser better is if that scene that we were talking about right here. But uh, in that little split second scene, is if it when it shows him looking at them, the lights go out and it comes back on and they're all three doing it. That would have been cool. That would have been that would fucking been... sweet. I should write movies. <laughs> like I swear to God, that would have been that have been a really cool scene if that would have happened. That would have been badass. I'd have liked that. I would have been like, um, shit. So it looks like uh, I did read an article today. Not saying this is true. Um, Take this it with is, a grain of this salt. This is just hearsay shit. Um, that Stu is supposed to make a special appearance at the very end of the movie. Do not know if this is true. I just read it. Who say it's just bullshit? Who knows? But there is a lot of people out there that love throw spoilers out. You know, and they just they just love doing it. Um, and um, I do think it's interesting that Matthew Lillard. I think when they were interviewing. Him, when the last movie came out, he did express interest that he was interested in coming back. Well, let's let's hope so. And uh, I'm gonna throw predictions out there for this for this franchise. I'm hoping this is my hope. This is what I think should happen, um, and I'd like to see it. Don't take this as fact. No, this is something I want to see happen um, because Nev's not in it, and they just dog shit out of her. Um, I'm hoping. They can talk her into coming back for the next one, or maybe this is just 
a got you guys. You know, I mean, this is a, a an on purpose thing, and maybe she comes back as the killer in the next movie. Her and Stu being killers would be the shit, or just her. I don't care, but I think that would put a twist on this movie that nobody would suspect, um, except for me. Um, Another twist they could do is with the whole thing that she wasn't in it or she's not going to be in it. What they could do is not have her in the whole movie and then it's revealed that the killer is her. Yeah. But you we know, got we got to talk about this this new mask real quick. This new mask is this shit. <clears throat> this I is really, probably really like easily my favorite yeah. ghost face mask. Yes. Um it looks like they took a, a took a page out of Halloween's mm-hmm. uh, book and aged the mask, um, which is really cool um, because the way they did it is just a little bit, but it's enough to make you notice, and it just looks bad as shit. Um, and what I'm thinking with the new mask, since it's all it's all weathered and old and cracked and everything, how old it is? Maybe it's Stu's original. Made? Maybe it's <laughs> Stu's original mask. That would be cool. Um, and lo and behold, Stu's behind it. You know, um, we don't know what to expect out of this movie. This is all we got so far. I'm sure they're going to release more. I um, wish they would. It's just the nature of the f- fucking beast that they love fucking doing it. Um, I would be happy if they would just leave it at this and leave it alone. Um, I think just let people great. just let people fucking wonder, you know, for like the next three months. They're not going to do it. You know, you're going to have your fucking your scream fans, just like your fucking Halloween fans that get pissed off when they don't get what they want. And then once they get what they want and the, and the movie's fucking ruined, then they bitch about that. <laughs> so it's just a lose lose situation either way it goes, because for us fans who want to go to the movies and see it and not have shit spoiled for us. Um, that's why we want it. But then there's other people who really want spoilers and want to know because they just want clout on the internet by having the first, oh, I, have, I got the first video out. This is it. You know what I mean? And, you know, I don't even care about that shit. You know, I'm not out there on a daily basis trying to get spoilers for every fucking movie that's coming out or any movie that's coming out because I don't want it spoiled for me. Take a breath, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. That shit makes me mad, dude. Like, you know. What I what what pisses me off is every time a new horror movie comes out or a new movie comes out that I'm really looking forward to, at least like three or four months leading up to that movie, I have to stay off social media. Yeah. Yeah. I try around this time that, that this teaser's coming out. You almost have to stay off any social media site or it. But or and if you don't and you see anything that has to do with this movie, do not click on it. Right. Because if you do, nine times out of ten, it's gonna be spoiler. Nine times out of ten, there's gonna be an asshole who posts in the comments what happens. Yeah. You know, you, you do got your guys that, that do their do their pages, you know, on YouTube and, and they will tell you before they say the spoiler if it's a spoiler. You know what I mean? <clears throat> And that's a good thing. Um, and that way, if you don't want this spoiler, then you just get out of it. But some people just don't do it. You know what I mean? And they just, they don't care. <laughs> so <clears throat> these are the things that piss us guys off about horror movies, uh, about any movie, really. It, it doesn't matter, you know. Um, but that's it. So let us know what you guys think about this this trailer. Um, like always, we definitely appreciate those thumbs up button that subscribe button and that notification bell of course you know you want to hit that Just bell because if you do it makes noise when we post another video <laughs> just touch it <laughs> so definitely appreciate you guys uh that's gonna be it on the six scream six on the six oh, on the six on the six scream teaser trailer trailer (laughs) until next time guys this is horror junkies and we're out